This is prime wolverine country, cool, remote and with room to roam. Wolverines are tireless nomads, traveling many miles a day and scaling sheer slopes to find food and mates. Number 1 Wolverines can smell 20 feet down in the snow to locate food. If you stood by a flagpole and looked straight up, that is about 20 feet. Now imagine a wolverine being able to locate a dead caribou after an avalanche at that same distance and then be able to dig it out for dinner. Wolverines have an incredible sense of smell and hearing. They use the senses together to locate prey. They also can detect hibernating animals through the snow and dig them out for food. Talk about rude awakening. Number 2, Skip the Refrigerator, Wolverines use the snow as a freezer to keep large kills cold. If a wolverine either takes down a large kill or finds one that has been abandoned it will enjoy a large meal. If there are leftovers they will bury the carcass in the snow to keep for later thus preserving the meat, similar to how a freezer keeps our food frozen. Number 3, Forget Fast Food, Wolverines like frozen food. The wolverine's sharp teeth and powerful jaw crushes frozen carcasses, bones and all. In winter, and regions where there is snow, wolverines depend on eating frozen carcasses of deer, reindeer and elk. They don't just nibble the meat off the bones, they devour all of it. Steve and I head out to a frozen island in the nearby Chilkat River. The perfect place to meet Jasper. One of a pair of orphaned wolverines Steve has bottle fed from birth. But as a stranger, coming into Jasper's life late in the game, I'm in a situation that is at best, unpredictable, and at worst, dangerous. Hopefully this island is big enough for the both of us. What do we have there? This is uh, Jasper the Wolverine. Hi, buddy. That's it. Hi. What do you That's think? It. What do you That's think? Hi. Hi. You know, it's that trust that you're worked with all the time. And I use different types of um, uh, voices, you know. Use a high-pitched voice. Can you use that? Yeah. I never would have guessed I'd have to sweet talk my way into a Wolverine's heart. But the challenge, as Steve puts it, is to gain Jasper's trust, little by little. 